Apex Corner. For those of you that are gonna be doing your test at Hendon or Mill Hill, the Apex Corner is the roundabout that probably fills you with the most fear. For the rest of the world and everybody else out there who don't really care about the Apex roundabout, large complex junctions is still a thing, right? So let's break this down into its little parts. I've got the approach, my plan, my MSPSL. I've also got the reading of the signs and I'll start reading the road markings. Then I've got the actual arriving at the junction itself, which is when I've got to judge when it's safe to go. The third thing that I'm doing on the roundabout is that I'm negotiating my lane to make sure that I'm in the correct lane as I come around the roundabout. And while I'm doing that, I'm also counting my exit so I know exactly where I am. And then I'm exiting the roundabout. A left turn because we're in the UK. Now, the plan is or starts from the routines that we use to turn left and turn right. That routine is called the MSPSL routine. The MSPSL routine, I will link in the description below. It breaks down, though, for you now as mirrors, signal, position, speed, and look. Whenever I'm turning left or turning right on a junction, I must be doing my mirrors and I must be signaling. So that does not change when I'm approaching a roundabout, regardless of whether it's a large complex one. You're gonna be doing your mirrors and you're gonna be doing your signal as you approach the roundabout. Do that as normal. Let's just sweep that to the side for a second. I'm gonna assume that you understand that. The next thing that comes in is the positioning part. This is where the plan comes in. If I know my MSPSL on junctions, my positioning doesn't change. If I'm going left on a roundabout, I'm gonna be picking the left-hand lane. If I'm following the road ahead, the first lane I'm gonna look at is the left-hand lane. Now, why have I said not always pick? Well, that's because we got road markings and things to think about as well. If I'm turning right, I'm gonna look at the right-hand lane first. Because I do this on every single junction, it's drummed into my head when I change position. The S and the L of the MSPSL is speed and look. So obviously I'm gonna be reducing my speed as I approach a junction and I need to be looking in the correct direction. I should then be able to bring that to the large complex roundabout. So that's my plan. The next thing that I'm doing when I'm approaching a complex roundabout is I've got to be reading the sign. The sign will tell me where the exits are. I need to know what my destination is. The next important thing to read is the road markings. The road markings are gonna be my pathway through that roundabout. Then I'm gonna be counting my exits as I come round the roundabout, and then I've got the exit. On the roundabout, I'm gonna turn right third exit. I can see the sign, so I can see Central London and Brent Cross. I get another sign, which is quite handy, and it says Mill Hill. And I kind of know it's around the bend because I know this roundabout. Approaching the roundabout, my plan is my MSPSL, so center mirror, right mirror, indicate right, and I position right. I'm looking on the ground, and it says tot, and it says A1S. So the sign has told me that my exit is over there, the road markings are giving me something to follow. My plan on the approach to the roundabout was to be in the right-hand lane, which is what I'm doing. It's looking pr pretty clear over there. So I move across into the right-hand lane. I count my exit one, because that's what I should be doing when I'm in the roundabout. Come round, it says A1S on the ground. Staying in my lane, coming round, again, I haven't changed lanes, it says A1S there, centre mirror, left mirror, indicate left, and of course now I have to stop for the traffic light. Now I could have changed lanes, it's possible, I could have moved across to the left, but I don't have to. I can exit from here. Now the exit of this roundabout is kind of like a funnel. It's wide for a reason, and the reason why it's wide is because I'm not supposed to be cutting across here. I'm gonna still stay in my lane, and I will exit wide. I've now got a vehicle on my left-hand side, which may wanna get there before me, which is absolutely fine. I've also got another vehicle on my left-hand side, and I'm just gonna be checking those mirrors just to make sure that they're holding back. They are holding back, and now I'm gonna use my speed to get the car moving. The next thing I need to do is get back to the left-hand side because of my normal driving position. I can now see the roundabout. I'm gonna be following the road ahead to the second exit. 
I would normally plan to be in the left-hand lane, but if you read the road markings, to get to the second exit, I've got to move across. So I'm gonna put my mirrors on my signal on, let that motorbike come past me. I can see here, this still says A1 North. So I've got to move across into almost the right-hand position to follow the road ahead. So my plan told me to move into the left-hand lane, but the road markings told me otherwise. Now, when you're following the road ahead at a roundabout, it's really, really simple. Just make sure you stay in your lane. I am now second from the right. I've got two lanes on my left. I can sort of see up the dual carriageway that those two lanes are gonna be following that direction. As I enter the roundabout, to make sure I'm in my lane, I'm gonna be second from the right. And that way, I should be in a good position. Enter the roundabout, come around here. I've just check my right mirror just to make sure no one's gonna do anything silly. I'm in my lane, I go past the first exit, center mirror, left mirror, indicate left. I'm now in the left hand position. I can check my right hand side just to make sure no one's gonna cut across in front of me. And then, just about C, and then I exit. I'm on the dual carriageway, I'm gonna pick up my speed. It's a 50 mile an hour speed limit. And then do my mirrors, my signal, a little shoulder glance, and move across to the left. A spiral roundabout is built in a way that where you're positioned should lead you to your exit. They do this because it's safe. It's safer to not have to change lanes. Try and avoid changing lanes if you don't have to. Now, from time to time, and I'm gonna show you one today, there is a roundabout called the Mill Hill Circus, which I don't think they use on test routes because it is a little bit dangerous. Which, you know what, if they're not using it on test routes, then maybe they should do something about that roundabout. I plan, again, mirror, mirror, signal to the right as I approach the junction. I read the road markings. The road markings tell me that I need to move into the right-hand lane. I get moving. Count my exits. One. I'm going to stay in my lane. As I come round, I'm already starting to pay attention to my center mirror, left mirror. I'm going to put my left signal on, and I can see that I can get across, so I'm just going to move into position. Now this guy here on my right hand side, God that sun is bright, is not really supposed to be doing what he's doing, but I guess he's just done the best of what he can with the best of what he's got. He's exited from the right hand lane, and if that was my test, I would be in a bit of a spot of bother because I'm not supposed to be doing that. I'm not supposed to be moving across from the right hand lane. If you have to change lanes, you change lanes, do your mirrors and your signal early enough so that people understand what it is you're doing or you have to read the situation. And again, you need to be kind of advanced. If it's a tricky one like the one I'm gonna be doing today, if it's a, a normal roundabout or a roundabout where you have to change lanes outside London, I've, I've on A roads and stuff like that then, then just get used to doing lane changing and your mirrors and your signal and obviously your awareness of what's coming up. So again, I'm looking at the sign. It tells me L Street and Stanmore. I'm gonna be turning left on this roundabout. So again, this is pretty simple now. As I'm approaching the roundabout from this position here, my plan would be to move into the left-hand lane. So I've done my mirrors and my signal. I can see in the lane that I can turn left from here. It does say A1 North and the arrow on the ground also says that I can turn left. Approaching the roundabout. Looking to the right to see if it's clear. This van is also giving me a bit of a block. It's kind of a blocker for me. And then I turn left. So that's the end of this. If you like what you've seen here, again, hit that like button, subscribe, and then you'll know when the next video is coming out. And in the meantime, see you in the next one.